Your Highness, you have summoned me. What is it? Yes, my dear child, I have summoned you. I need you for a favor. But of course, my lord, I am yours to command. It is time for me to leave the country. The people are suspicious because I have not aged. Yes, of course, my lord, I understand. They can never find out your secret. I will return when the time is right. For now, I am going to the Americas. You, my dear, will make sure your family are my eyes and ears for centuries. It's time for me to go abroad. I need to go find new places. People will suspect. Yes, of course, my lord, I completely understand. You will be missed, Odin. I will return when the time is right, but I cannot let anyone know my secrets. You have nothing to fear. I will never tell anyone your secrets. I will take them to the grave. And that is why, my dear friend, you are loyal and trusted, and I hope to see you in the next life. May the gods protect you. My lord Sebastian, everything is prepared for your journey. Yes, my dear Vanessa, thank you for that. You have been most loyal. I will miss you. Yes, my lord, and we will all miss you here. We do not understand why you have to leave. Come now, my dear Vanessa, I cannot reveal all of my secrets. Besides, I've always wanted to go to the Americas. Yes, of course, my lord. I was out of place. I apologize. Come now, my dear child, you don't ever have to apologize for anything. Not to me. Now run along. My lord, I trust you fed well. We will have to get a new crew. This boy, I fed very well. And we will get a new crew. Fresh meat for me. Yes, of course, my lord. So where are we off to now? Yes, my young man, it is time that we visited the Americas. I have heard things about this place. Yes, of course, Captain Barbosa. I am yours to command. Yes, and I will rule this world for centuries. There is no one to stop me. My lord and commander, you are back from battle. How was it? Battle was as it always was. I always win. I am ready for my bath. Yes, of course, my lord. I have prepared many beautiful women for you. Yes, my dear, you always did know how to take care of me. But of course, my lord, you are our master. We are here to serve you. Trust me, my dear, this entire world is here to serve me, and soon they will know it. Oh, to me, sir, but is this your first time abroad? No, oh, young man, I have travelled many times before this. This is actually my first time anyway, so it's kind of exciting. I'm Leopold, by the way. Yes, I am Maxwell. It is nice to meet you, but I do want peace and quiet while I ride. Yes, well, I can completely understand that, but you see, I'm hungry, and I need to feed. Whatever are you talking about? Sorry, Maxwell. <laughs> yes, well, I do hope you don't mind if I smoke, but it's been a long journey. So please go ahead, it will not affect me. It's been a long journey for me as well. As well as this is your first time abroad, because I don't remember seeing you ever on this train before. Yes, well you can say this is my first trip here, and I hope not to be disappointed. Well, you look like someone who might have plenty of money to spend, so... Well there, lad, what are you doing out here so late? Hey, sir, I'm just looking for money for my family. Well, money I do have, but... I will need you to do a job for me first. Yes, of course. Whatever you need me to do. Relax, little one. It's not dangerous. I just need you to meet my eyes and ears for a moment. Do you want me to watch your ship for you, sir? No, and you do not have to call me sir. I am Hector. And I just need you to watch those gentlemen down there. Well, I must admit I did not expect them to send someone that looked like you. Thank you for that count, but I don't understand why. Trust me, you will. You are too beautiful to destroy. You should live forever. I'm sorry, Count, but no one can live forever. That's insanity. Oh, my dear Tyler, you are going to find out that it is not insanity. It is my way. Forgive me, Count, but I don't understand what you're talking about. <sighs> you will. Yeah, well, that totally sucks, Ryder. I mean, your dad won't let you play. That stinks. Come on now, Zane, you think I'm going to let my father stop me? I'm going to be a star. I know it. Hey, come on now, Ryder. You know I don't doubt that. And I'm your man. I'm here for you if you need me. Yeah, well, don't you worry. I'm going to prove my dad and everyone else wrong. I'm going to find a producer at that club tonight. Yeah, well, you know, I wish you good luck, but I'm grounded and I can't come with you. Yeah, don't worry, Zane. I know that. I've always got my back. <laughs> 
I'll remember that. I'm sorry, my dear, if I frightened you. But you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Yes, but I've heard that too many times before, but I am no one's woman. I am my own. RCR, my dear, and I respect it. My name is Odin. What's yours? The name is Amara. And if you can keep up, perhaps we can talk. Well now, Amara, I accept the challenge. And might I say, would you like to live forever? Well, of course I would. Who wouldn't? What are you talking about? Uh, now, Dom James, I must admit, you are the most beautiful man I've ever seen. Well, coming from you, Lord Sebastian, that's a real compliment. Thank you. Come on now, James, you can drop the Lord and just call me Sebastian. Yes, of course, Sebastian. But I don't understand what I'm doing here. What do you want from me? Oh, my dear sweet James, I'm about to make you an offer that you really can't refuse. It's not like I have anywhere else to go. My family kicked me out, so I'm yours to command. Well now, I must admit, Mr. Barbosa, this is going to be an amazing life. My dear, I am going to show you things that you have never seen before, and we will live for centuries. Well now, I don't mind living for centuries as long as I don't age. Oh my dear, the way that you look now, you will look forever, I promise. And then, Captain Barbosa, I guess we have an arrangement. Yes, my beautiful Cassandra, we definitely have an arrangement, and I will make more vampires. Wow, well, I must admit, I've never met anyone like you, Mr. Caesar. Yes, trust me, my beautiful Mabel, you will never meet anyone like me. Well, if you definitely have a way to make a woman look younger, I am completely in. I want to keep my career for as long as I can. Believe me, my dear, with my deal, you will never age again. You can be a starlet for centuries. But now, honestly, Mr. Caesar, how is that even possible? Allow me to show you. Being here tonight must be my lucky night. Never thought I'd meet anybody this handsome out here at night. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the compliment, but I need to get home. Come on, now, handsome. What's the rush? My name is Leopold. What's yours? The name is Jason. I really have to get home. I've got family. Come on, now, Jason. I'm afraid your family's going to have to do without you for centuries. I'm sorry. What kind of insane game are you playing? I don't have time for this, sir. Don't worry, now, Jace. You're going to have all the time in the world. Excuse me, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't think anyone else was up here. Yes, well, I do like to look at the stars. My name is Lestat. What's yours? Forgive me, where are my manners? I am Louis. Lord Louis. Oh my goodness, a lord. Never met one of them on a ship before. Where are you headed? I was on a business trip, but now I am heading home. Where are you headed? As a matter of fact, I wasn't really heading anywhere until now. Would you like to have dinner with me? How can I refuse? And now I must admit, I have never met anyone as beautiful as you. Thank you for that. My name is Antonio. What is yours? My name is Hector, and I have a proposition for you, if you are interested. Well, come on now, Hector. If you wanted to sleep with me, you only had to ask. Yes, you are quite beautiful, but that is not the only thing I want. I want to give you an eternal life. Well, I can honestly say I've never heard that one before. I'm interested. Hector, tell me more. Oh, you scared me. What are you doing out here by yourself? I was waiting for you to come out. I wanted to tell you. I loved your performance, Ryder. Yeah, okay, thanks for that, but if you're not a producer, I'm not interested. Oh, I'm sorry, I am not a producer. I am Esteban. I am actually a prince. Perhaps I can help you in your journey. Wow, an actual prince. Look, I don't have time for this. I gotta get home. My dad's gonna kill me as it is. Ryder, I am afraid you are not going home. Please, Hunter, I've told you everything that I know. Dracula is dead. I killed him myself. Yes, I know. I heard the story. It's incredible. How did you do it? It was easy. I was the only one who could get close to him. I killed him in his sleep. Damn, now. That's spoken like a true hunter. Still can't believe you're a vampire. Yes, you and me both. I did not choose this life. He forced it on me. But please, you cannot keep me in here. Forever. I'm sorry now, Tyler. I don't know if you're a threat or not. So I'm going to have to see. Yeah, well, where the heck is Marcus, anyway? He hasn't been here all day. Come on, now, you know exactly where he is. He's talking to Tyler. He's in love with him. Yeah, well, can you blame him, I mean? He's a beautiful vampire. I can understand why Dracula wanted him. Yeah, but the messed up part is he was a hunter first. Van Helsing sent him in there to trap Dracula, and he ended up getting turned. Yeah, that's actually the part that really sucks, but there's nothing we could do for him. 
Well, I don't know. I say we make him one of us. I think he'd be a great hunter. <laughs>